How hard is it to get a perfect SAT math score? Roughly 1% of test takers get a perfect 800, which usually involves getting all 58 math problems correct. However, with the right process and dedication, you might be able to achieve that. Don't believe me? If I gave you 58 addition problems, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to solve all 58. Why? Well, there are three reasons. First, you have a conceptual understanding of what addition actually is. Second, you have a process to rely on for every single addition problem. And third, you've practiced addition enough to do it with relative ease. Do these three things for SAT math and you'll have a perfect score. That is, understand all the concepts on the SAT math, have a process for every single type of problem, and practice enough that you feel comfortable with every test you take. Now, of course, this is easier said than done, but maybe my YouTube channel or tutoring site LearnSATMath.com can help you out. Self-promotion is cool. Regardless, good luck studying. Yeah, so this is kind of an oversimplified version. It's not that easy to get an 800 perfect SAT math score. You know, one of the things about SAT math, especially on this new digital SAT, is that it is adaptive. So the second module, the hard math module on the digital SAT, has especially difficult hard math questions. They really try to differentiate the 800 scores from the 780 scores from the 760 scores by throwing in a couple of very, very complicated questions that likely have never been shown on previous practice exams. So it's not just question patterns. You really have to have problem solving skills and get a little bit lucky in order to get that perfect 800 on math.